Hey guys, sorry there hasn't been a lot of content on the channel lately, um, but that's going to change here in the fall. Um, just got a 12 acre farm and I've currently been working on moving everything out here and kind of getting everything fixed up and working. So we're going to start producing more content on this channel. So thank you for your uh, subscriptions and uh, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. So this is my one year review of one of these cheap uh, eBay E85 kits. You see them hop around everywhere. And uh, I wanted to wait for a year of running this thing to see if I liked it. Because when I first installed it, I was like, well, I was going to do a video. But I'm like, you know what? I need to wait because I've noticed there's a lot of install videos. But there's very few reviews of these things for people who've had them for a while. And now that I've driven one for a while, I kind of see why there aren't any reviews. So uh, let me go through some of the things I liked and some of the things I don't like about this kit. So first thing I like is the ease of installation. Um, you pretty much just unplug your injectors, you plug your inject, you unplug those uh, cables into the kit, then you unplug the new kit in, you mount the box, you give it a ground, you're done. Okay, it's, it's all plug and play. The thing I don't like about that was the plugs they used were really cheap. So I wound up cutting those off and getting ones from the junkyard. I cut a harness apart on a, a junkyard motor. The pin fitment and everything was just, it wasn't good enough nor waterproof enough. I didn't like the way the factory kit was uh, set up. So I know some of those kits come with connectors. Some of them don't. I personally would buy the kit without and just get your own from the junkyard. But that's up to you if you have that ability or if your vehicle is... Uh, old enough where you can find them in the junkyard. Here in the Midwest, cars start rolling in there pretty pretty quickly. Um, so the ease of installation is great. The connector quality is something that needs to improve. Uh, now the next thing is the ability to adjust between ethanol content is probably my next um, thing I don't like about this kit. Although it's pretty easy to work around. So around here, E85 ranges between E50 an E85 when you go to the pump and this kit is just pulsing the injectors an extra 15 or 20 percent and it's relying on your long-term fuel trim on your computer to make up for that difference in ethanol content for the most part. So I have found that if you go to a station with the car if you run the car completely down to light comes on and you go to the station and fill up and there's a dramatic difference in the E85 content. Let's say your last tank was 50% E85, and now you run into a tank that's now 85%. Um, the car will run badly, and you'll get a lean code. Um, to prevent that, you can do one of two things. Um, you can go to the same, same station each time and check it and make sure that the ethanol content's the same, or you fill up at, at a half a tank. That's pretty much what I have been doing um, for the most part. And it has worked flawlessly. So I, I, when the car gets just at or below half a tank, I fill up, and that's that keeps the check engine light off because the, the you're mixing it down enough where the computer can react in time to the ethanol difference in content. Um, performance, uh, I haven't seen that much performance. Uh, the car does run better, in my opinion, on the uh, E85. Now let me be. Um, explain that I have never run premium in this car. This car has only gotten either 87 octane or E85, which is about 110, 115. So would this car run and perform the same with uh, 91 or 93 in it compared to E85? Probably. Um, I have never done that. I don't know if there is any difference. So that's the one thing I can say I do like. It idles better, and it tends to run better, and it seems like at the top end, it has put more timing in the motor, and it has a stronger pull. Um, so I kind of like that. Um, this is just a 1.8 Toyota engine. Uh, these are Pontiac Vibes, Toyota Matrixes, Toyota Corollas. They all have this drivetrain in them. Uh, fuel economy is probably the biggest thing I hear about and the biggest myth on all this stuff, man, I hear people talk all the time about how you lose 50% of your gas mileage if you go to E85. Um, that's simply not true. Um, in the wintertime, this car was getting about 31, 33 miles per gallon on um, 87, regular 10% uh, ethanol gas. Uh, on E85, this car gets about 26. 
So I lose about 20% uh, mileage just, just there about in the wintertime. In the summertime, uh, now that it's in the 80s and 90s, I am seeing almost no difference in gas mileage. It, my last tank I got was 296 I mean, and the car would usually get about 31 to 32. So I, I've, I've lost almost not, none now that we've gone into the summertime. Um, the cost difference between E85, we're here in Illinois where, you know, corn is plentiful. Uh, gasoline is about $4 a gallon right now. You can get it between $3.80 and $4 a gallon. E85 is between $2.40 a gallon and two dollars and eighty cents a gallon so um at the the high end you're saving about a dollar so on this car about twelve dollars a fill up on the low end you're saving you know or a little bit you're saving about a dollar something more a gallon so with even with the fuel economy difference you're still saving quite a bit i paid 168 dollars for this kit so it has already paid for itself off it paid for itself off i would say probably within six months um would i buy this kit again the answer is it depends if it's going on an eco box that you don't really care that much about yes um you know this car just i just put gas in it i check the oil i change the oil twice a year and i go you know and th this is a great car for just a runabout it's cheap if i had a performance car that had high compression or a turbocharger? Absolutely not. This kit cannot react quick enough to the changes in the ethanol content. And I would feel, I'd be worried that you could damage something. On a naturally aspirated EcoBox motor that is mild compression, um, I think this one's like 9 to 1. Um, there's nothing to worry about. It can't really hurt itself. So uh, my answer to would I purchase this kit again is depends and or maybe and uh, for this type of application where you're just trying to save money and you're not looking for anything magical um, this is a great system so I would uh, I would say depends on your application but I really like how this kit worked out and I'm going to keep it on the car for a while and I will let you know if it dies or if I have any other problems with it but as of right now it's been serving me quite well and I've been quite happy with it thank you guys and uh like and subscribe, and uh, especially subscribe. This channel is going to have a bunch more content on it. We're going to have, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more projects out here at the farm now that uh, I've got a place where I can kind of spread my legs and start working on projects again. Thanks, and I'll see you guys in the next video.